Hi guys, this is a haptic control demonstration video using simple FOC shield. In this video I'm going to be using two gimbal motors iPower 4108 with the 11 pole pairs. I'm going to be using two different position sensors, one of which is magnetic sensor AS5600 with 12-bit resolution and I2C communication. Uh, its magnet is inserted directly into the hole of shaft of the motor using a small 3D printed part. And the other position sensor I'm using is a capacitive encoder AMT103, which is configured to have 500 uh, pulses per revolution. And in order to control both of the gimbal motors at the same time, I'm using two simple FOC shields, which are going to be stacked upon each other, and of course on the Arduino Uno, which is going to run simple FOC library and the haptic, uh, haptic control. So first thing to, when we are connecting the hardware is, uh, in my case, is connecting the power lines together because I'm going to be using one LiPo battery to power both motors. Uh, I'm connecting 12 volt and ground of the both, uh, both uh, shields. So just make sure that the polarity is set right. Then I just uh, connected, uh, I just stacked the shields on top of Arduino Uno and we are ready to, to connect the motors. The motors are connected directly to the motor terminals of the shields and once when this is done we can continue to the position sensors. First position sensor to be plugged in here is the encoder with its uh, channels A, B and index which is used in this example. And then the magnetic sensor with its uh, I2C communication which is connected to the A5 uh, and 6 of the um, uh, analog pins 5 and 6 of the Arduino. Then power supply and the USB cable for communication with the PC or and uh, powering up the Arduino. Uh, first thing that's happening uh, is the in initialization of the motor on the right and the index search because it has index pin of the encoder. Uh, once when it's found the other motor is uh, in initialized and the haptic example starts. This example shows a virtual link in between two motors created in software. The motors are controlled in a way to maintain the uh, same position as the other one and uh, basically the control algorithm is going to try to fight any type of movement that will try to separate the positions of the two motors. And uh, this type of haptic control is also called force feedback control because a user by holding only one motor can feel the forces applied to the other one. But this type of haptic control based on the virtual link in between uh, motors positions is not the only one. So I would like to show you another example of haptic control uh, based on a different virtual link. Since this is the demonstration example, I would like to change the hardware a bit. So we are going to use the same gimbal motor with the encoder, but the other one with magnetic sensor we are going to change for this bigger 5108 gimbal motor with uh, USA Digital very precise uh, encoder. So additionally, we are going to change Arduino Uno for this very powerful STM32 board Nucleo 64. And we are going to use the same simple FOC shields as before. So uh, FOC shields are stackable on top of a uh, nuclear board because it has Arduino headers. And in order to, to run this example, you just need to connect uh, motors to the motor shield, motor uh, terminals, connect encoder to the encoder terminals, which is very straightforward as before. And finally, we connect power supply to power up the boards and the uh, USB cable to power up the uh, nuclear board and provide serial communication. Now we just wait for calibration to finish and we are ready to go. In this example, we are going to create a virtual link in between one motor's position and the other motor's velocity. The position of the bigger motor is going to determine the velocity of the smaller motor and the velocity of the smaller motor is going to influence the position of the bigger motor. You can imagine it as a smart knob or interactive gauge. By turning the knob, you can set the desired velocity of the smaller motor but you can also feel its resistance and you can also feel whether a small motor can reach the set point you are setting. And if you don't hold the knob, it will turn into a gauge showing you the smaller motor velocity in the real time. So if you slow down the smaller motor, you are going to see the bigger motor move and showing you the actual velocity that it's reaching. One of the use cases of this haptic control algorithm could be, for example, a throttle of an electric bike, providing you with the real-time information about the effort your motor is putting in. So that's it guys, I hope you liked this video. I'm going to put the links to the hardware and the code to the description and uh, thanks a lot for watching.